Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be factoring using the t-chart method. There are a number of ways that you can factor quadratic expressions, especially quadratic trinomials, but we're only focusing on using the t-chart method with this one. I'm going to make another video on factoring quadratics by grouping, but it's very straightforward. Uh, we're going to go through a very hopefully step-by-step -step process for you so when we're going through these problems. All right. So when you're factoring, the first thing you always look for is a GCF. On this particular video, we don't have to worry about factoring out GCFs on any of these problems because I didn't make any of these problems have a GCF that you have to factor out at the beginning. When we go into another unit, we will have to do that first, then do GCF factoring. I mean GCF factoring, then factor the rest of the problem, but none of that is here, okay? So we're going to factor using the T-chart method. The first thing we're going to always do is if there's not a number in front of our X squared term, we're going to write a, the number one, because the understood one. All right. So now what I want you to do is draw a T-chart below, whatever you have. However you have it written to the side below is fine. And I'm going to take this first term right here, this 1x squared, and just put 1x and 1x on top of the T-chart. Okay, not x squared, just x. All right, so don't put a square on it. All right. Next step we're going to do, very simple, we're going to multiply the first number and the last number together. So that's 1. All right. So when you do this, this is called AC, multiply A and C, the AC method. So what I'm saying is, whatever number I get when I multiply, I'm going to draw another little chart to the side, so 2. So whatever number I get here, 1 times 1 is 1. I put that first. And the middle number right here goes in the second. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to look for numbers that when I multiply them, I get the first number in the chart, and when I add them, I get the second number in the chart. So we're looking for numbers that multiply to the first number that add to the second number. So what multiplies to 1? Well, 1 times 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Well, which of these in the list give you 2? So they have to add to 2. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So I know I don't want this row. I want this row. So these are the factors I'm going to use. So these are the two numbers I'm going to put over here in my orange chart. So I'm going to put positive 1 and positive 1 in my orange chart. We're almost done with the problem. So the next thing you always do, we always see if we can simplify, we always see if we can simplify anything here. So you always check and see if you can simplify. And what I mean is see if you can divide anything to simplify, okay? So one divided by one is just one, so that's not gonna really change. One divided by one is one, that's not gonna change. So my answer is just gonna be what's on the top. 1x. This is positive 1. What's on the top? 1x and positive 1. It's been factored. And you can use the full method to check it and to make sure you did it right. But let's keep going to the next one. Same deal. It's no number in front. So let me go ahead and put a 1 in front. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my chart. So remember, I take this first term, so I got 1x and 1x. Remember, don't put the square, just put the x, because you have two x's that takes care of the square. Now I'm going to draw another chart over here to the side. Multiply 1 and negative 54. So 1 times negative 54 is negative 54, so that goes in the front. And then the middle number goes in the back. Okay? So I'm looking for numbers that when I multiply them, I get negative 54, and those same numbers have to add to give me positive 3. So negative 54, well, let's go. Negative 1 times 54, all right? Negative 2 times 27. Negative 3 times 18. 4 doesn't work. 5 doesn't work, negative 6 times 9, all right? And then I do the reverse, 
So 1 times negative 54, 2 times negative 27, 3 times negative 18, 6 times negative 9. So those are our factors. Now we need to see. This gives me negative 53 when I add it together. So if I do negative 1 plus 54, I'm sorry, that's positive 53. But we want 3, so we know that's not it. Negative 2 plus 27 is 25. We know it's not that one. Negative 3 plus 18, 15 is not that one. Negative 6 plus 9 equals positive 3. Okay, so it's this one. So we're going to use these numbers. So I'm going to put negative 6 and positive 9. Remember, always check to see if you can simplify. We can't simplify the numbers 1 and 6, 1 and 9, so now we just write our answer. The answer is going to be 1x minus 6 and 1x plus 9. Let's do this one. Okay, same deal. It's a number in front this time, so we don't have to worry about writing the 1. So let's go ahead and put it in front. We have 2x and 2x. Okay, then you're going to make your other chart. Multiply 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. And the middle number is 7. So remember, you need to multiply to the first number. And it has to add to give you the second number. So what multiplies to 6? Well, let's see. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 1 times negative 6 is 6. And negative 2 times negative 3 is also 6. Which of these adds give me 7? 1 plus 6 equals 7. So I know those are my factors. So I'm going to put that in over here. So I'm going to put in positive 1 and positive 6. We're going to check and see if we can simplify the numbers, see if they have anything in common. All right? 2 and 1 is just 2 and 1. But 2 and 6, I can simplify that down, right? Because they're both divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then the 2x plus 1, that didn't change. So now I can't simplify anymore. So my answer is 2x plus 1 and 1x plus 3. Okay. Last example. 5x squared minus 9x minus 2. So same deal. Go ahead and draw your chart. First term goes here, so 5x and 5x, don't put the square on it. Draw our other chart to the side. So I'm going to multiply 5 times negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And the middle number is negative 9. So I'm looking for numbers that when I multiply them, I get negative 10. And when I add them, I get negative 9. So... When you're multiplying here, negative 1 times 10 is negative 10. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. All right. Then we also do 1 times negative 10, which is negative 10. 2 times negative 5, which is also negative 10. So now we add negative 1 plus 10 is positive 9, but we need negative 9. Negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3. We need negative, three, negative 9. 1 plus negative 10 equals negative 9. So those are the numbers I want right here, these factors. So I put in positive 1 and negative 10. See if you can simplify. Okay. 5 and 1, we can't simplify that, but 5 and 10... They both can be divided by 5. So I didn't change the first column, so that's 5x plus 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. So my answer is going to be 5x plus 1 and 1x minus 2.
and that's all to it. So I hope this video was helpful to you when you start factoring using the T-chart method and we'll work on a little more in class. All right, thank you.